Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. I'm gonna tell you why not to use this from one electrician to another for electric vehicle charging in your home and to go with that. And I'm gonna show you how in four easy steps. Let's go. So the first and most important step is to turn off the power. Let's see if we know which one it is. Oh, there are two, and they're labeled identically. It's one, that's two. We've got to test and verify. See, I don't want an extreme death, <laughs> so I'm double verifying that this truly is de-energized on the terminals at the back. Step three is install the new plug and new plate. I'll tell you what's different about this new plug at the end. So this box is recessed inside the wall. So I'm gonna use 632 nuts on the back of my screws to support the plate at the proper location. Here's a tip, the ground terminal always goes on top. While we're here at step three, it's important that I tell you to use a torque screwdriver to the appropriate setting, which is contained in the instructions, and to wiggle and seat your conductors as you tighten them down. Watch, you'll see what I mean. Dang, so my bit 3 16 is getting stuck in the Hubble outlet and I had to wiggle it out each time, but at least have the confidence that my terminations are torqued down and the strands, the individual strands of my conductors are well seated in that terminal. Before we energize it and test for proper power, why did we swap out this plug for that plug? They're both NEMA 1450 outlets. Well, this is a $12 plug from Lowe's and that is an $85 plug from the electrical supply house. This is an HBL 9450A. It's truly industrial. And you might say, Joel, but that one says industrial on the packaging. Bro, it's not. The durability, the heat capacity, the number of insertions and removals is dramatically different between the two. And that one has been responsible for house fires in America. House fires are responsible for hundreds of millions of dollars of property damage every year in the US. This is the EV go-to. And the reason the difference is because this is going to handle a massive amp draw for a long period of time. Three, six, eight, even 10 hours for large capacity electric vehicles. And this one is able to handle it. It's specifically called out in certification processes like Tesla and other well-known EV manufacturers that this HBL 9450A is the go-to. Repower the breaker and test for proper operation before you plug anything in. Okay, take your digital multimeter, make sure you're in contact with the metallic, and that's hot to neutral at 123 volts. It's hot to ground at 123 and a half, and that's hot to hot should be sitting right around 247.1, which is perfect. Now that we're sure we're in good shape, it's time to plug in the device. So a NEMA 1450 outlet is a universal charging standard for things like this. This is Ford's mobile power cord. What does a job like this cost? Well, it's about 100 bucks in materials for the outlet and the plate. And if you're gonna hire it out, it's gonna be at least another $100 in labor. If it's a dedicated trip, you're definitely looking at trip charges and you could be upwards of maybe 400 or just a touch more sometimes. Hey, for more videos like this and like this, check here, look in the description and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.